So what we have here is the closed tray impression coping. You might have this and be wondering, what in the hell, how do I use this? Let's open it up and I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is what's inside. Let's take a look at the gold piece first. So this gold piece, it's sort of like a tapered cylinder. It's round on top here and it's got one flat end. Where's it at? One flat end right there. You see that flat end? It's it right there. This side sits on the implant. Uh, this side sticks out obviously and there's a screw inside there. So this is a short screw as opposed to the long screw that's in the open tray impression coping. And now here is a little white cap. So this little white cap is going to be popped on top of that closed tray impression coping. So I'm going to show you how that works. But basically um, in here it's round and it's got one flat end that corresponds with the flat end on this little cylinder thing. See? All right, so here's your implant right in there. And so you're going to take your closed tray impression coping and it has a screw inside, right? If you open it up and you drop the screw or something, it's not going to work. So you want to make sure your screw's still in there. Right, there's a screw inside. All right. And now you're going to put this on the implant. So kind of rotate it and push because as you do that, you'll feel it pop into place. As those as the hex in the implant and the hex right here on this impression coping kind of line up, right? So so you, see you turn it and place it. All right, once you feel it go into the right engagement, and you're gonna hold it in place, and then you're gonna tighten it down. I like to hold it with my other two fingers as I'm tightening it down, just to make sure that I'm not pushing it out of the, out of the way. All right, so now it's fully tightened. Boom, it's done, it's tight. So that's good. You're gonna take notice of where the flat end is. Right, so you see that flat end right there on the front, that flat end we saw, it's right here on the mesial. All right, the flat end's on the mesial, everything's seated. You can take a radiograph at this uh, point right now to make sure that everything's fully seated with internal hex implants and parts such as this one. It's not 100% necessary to take a, a radiograph, but taking a radiograph is always the safe way to go. All right, so say that everything's seated, you took an x-ray or didn't take an x-ray, uh, but once you're sure that this is 100% seated the right way, you're gonna take this little white cap and see that this little cap has a flat end, right? It's a flat end right here, it's flat, and then it's round. Right? I'm looking at the internal surface of this cap. It's flat right here, and then it's round. We're gonna flip it around, and there's a little notch. That little notch corresponds to where the flat end is. So that that notch means that the flat end is right there. So you're gonna take a close look at your impression coping and see where the flat end is. So the flat end, sure, it's on the mesial, but I think it's kind of like mesial buckle, right? So it's sort of pointing out this way. So the flat end is right here. It's not, it's not straight mesial. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little cap, I'm gonna put it on, and remember, so it's not pointing straight mesial, it's sort of mesial buckle. And so it's lined up now, and I'm gonna give it a push. Wait, you wanna make sure it's lined up. And I'm gonna give it a push, and let's see if it seats all the way down. Boom, all the way seated. So I can just confirm visually that it's seated, right? This margin, the margin of this impression coping is sealed with that little white cap. But I can even do it like with my perio probe. I can see that it's fully seated right there. So it's really important to line these guys up. And I mean, it's pretty much a no brainer when you see the flat end of the impression coping and the flat end of this white cap. But it is possible if you're not really paying attention and you're doing it at the wrong orientation, you can force this thing all the way down. Um, it, I mean, it, it won't, but it won't feel like it really seats properly, right? So here we can see that we forced it down but there's a gap right there in the margin, right? That's not right. So what you wanna do is take it out. At the, you wanna put it at the right orientation and then seat it all the way down, see? So now those things are flush. So see, not seated, still not seated, right? Boom, that's seated. So it's gotta be completely seated so that way your occlusion is gonna be right on your implant crown. All right, so now this is fully seated, and while your assistant is loading up this impression tray with heavy body impression material, you're going to be expressing light body all around this. So just 
light body all around this, uh, on the buckle, on the lingual, interproximal, uh, occlusal aspects, uh, maybe e even get some in there in that, in that little retentive feature. And then once the tray is full of impression material, you just go ahead and seat it down, seat it down all the way. Uh, you don't need to actually make any modifications to the tray. You don't need to cut the tray or anything. You just seat it and let it set. So now that your material has set up, you're going to go ahead and pull, 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 right? So pull on three sides and then this is going to pop off. Boom. So it might be a little bit hard to take off, so that's why you want to pull on the three sides first. Your impression coping is going to stay on here while the white cap stays in here. So the important part of this impression is that this white cap is fully encapsulated by the, the light body impression material and it's fully immobile, right? It's completely immobilized. And so now what you're going to do is remove this. Then you can go ahead and send this along with this to your laboratory. Go ahead and disinfect them, put them in a bag. They're going to orient this inside of, inside of there, right? They're going to orient it the right way and make the restoration for you. All right, so closed tray impression copings, that's really all there is to it. It's just a matter of matching up the flat surface here to the flat surface here, and boom, that's pretty much it. Totally simple. You got this.